Here I am, officially arrived at the Aston Quarter. Let's see what's going on. If you're wondering how I got such a good price, it's because this place actually haunted, so I'm top of Let's start with the bed area first. It's a nice number, featuring white and purple notes, but before we get to bed, it has a nice bit of light reading, in the form of clip art. I value this at about £6.99. There are four towels with this apartment, I've already got to know two of them myself. Plenty of room to throw your ties and things. And a nice clock there, which is a lovely note. I can't wait to come back to this later on. Okay, what have we got going on in this corner? First off, we've got the bathroom. Fairly simple there, we'll come back to him in a moment. And we've got a mirror and the entertainment area, featuring a lovely table set for four. Bed for two, table for four, we won't know. But if you've got more friends, don't even worry about it. There are two more seats down here, and table to match. Let's take a look out the window. Let's have a look. I just can't see much the window. It's a bit dark. It's a wee bit dark. A nice rustic paint frame there. No moulding. That's so far as that I can see. Anyway. And over here we have um, the hanging up feature. There's no actual walk-in wardrobe as far as I can tell, but I feel that this unit here would make a Better use if it was slightly closer to the door. Oh, lovely. Another little friendly, almost mirror there. Does this open? No. I wonder what's in there. Secrets. What do the bodies send? Here's a picture of Cardiff. Isn't that lovely? Anyway. On to the bathroom. Did someone say bathroom? Mind the step. In we go. So in the bathroom we've got a classic mirror. Classic, you know, all the bits you'd expect to find on a little soap board like this. Tap. Tap works. Dust toilet. Got the shower going on here. Got some towels in there and got a nice mix. This week, we're going to have a start by looking at this kitchen. This is a kettle, but what other amenities does this have? It's got a basic spice rack with liquid spice, one of the lesser known. Here's the hobs. They're powered by what I believe is electric. Some knives. Scissors are knife. Spoon. Spoon rich. Wooden spoon. Yeah. Here, we've got this, that's a microwave, sandwich edition, sink, it works, that bit of the sink, we've got some cups up here, and up above some even more plants, what have we got down here, we've got straw, we've got some spoons, in here we've got some dust, this is a look at our ingredients. This week on Simpsons in the Kitchen with a Silver Spoon, we're going to make Salmon Party. Salmon Party. You will need salmon. You will need half quarter cabbage. You will need the apple from last week's episode. And plain tortilla wraps featuring soy chili sauce. Step one, preheat your oven to gas mark. 200 degrees, then place your salmon fillets upon the grill place. 
I, or oh, maybe to go in the oven. I don't know, I've not cooked salmon in a long time. And I didn't really cook it, I was just at a restaurant, and they sold it to me for a fair price. And it was pre-cooked. Anyway, let's put this in the oven. Ten minutes later, let's check back on the salmon. Salmon's cooking fierce. Alright, get those fishy germs down the plug hole. You don't need to use soap on fish because it's not like chicken that's really bad, it's just a bit bad. So just like water's fine, even cold will do. Put it there. Don't there, don't even dry it. It's a waste of dry. Yeah, I've let a look, I can't find any other gloves so tell me where it is. Okay, I've checked that with the forks and it looks done. Now on to step two of nine. After seeing everything that this place has to offer, there's not much more I could have wished for. It's... There we have the finished salmon wrap. How are you enjoying yours, Mr. Ghost? Are, are you not? So, so you're not gonna. What? You say. Play the thing? What? So you're just not gonna try it? Okay. I got you a gift. Are you even gonna look at it? It's not just. Stuff. Dicks. <laughs> <laughs>